Uh, we went to India, which is where I'm from. I'm originally from India. I was born there. I moved here when I was eight years old. And the last time that I was in India was about seven years ago. Right? And when you're not in a country for that long, you kind of forget the subtle little nuances that really make that country special. Right? You forget how different it really is. And India, it's, it's different. <laughs> There's a lot of minorities in India. <laughs> There's about a billion of them, you guys. There's a billion minorities <laughs> in India, which is so exciting to see all those minorities in one place. <laughs> India is a truly different country. If you've never been to India, I highly recommend it. I think there's no, almost no country on the planet that's like India, right? India is a very energetic country. It's constantly buzzing. It's constantly moving. There's, it's so vibrant. There are all these colors. Holy fucking shit, the colors. <laughs> Fuck Roy Biv. We made some of our own. <laughs> and that can be very jarring. It can be very jarring for a group of people that think the color spectrum is only red, white, and blue. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think India is one of the very few countries in the world that has incorporated nature into its urban development, right? It, you know, we, we built around nature instead of over nature. You know, there's a point when people were building the cities in India where all the construction had to come to a halt, and they were like, what do we do? There's a tree here! <laughs> and they're like, I don't know, maybe we should try building around it. <laughs> That's probably what it wants us to do. Technically speaking, it was here first. <laughs> a lot of different animals in India, too, that, that li live in the cities, right? Uh, cows. There's a lot of cows in India. A very holy animal uh, in India, the cow. It's a, the cows are just like in the middle of the road, not giving a shit about your Toyota. <laughs> they have transcended the traffic that they are 100% responsible for. <laughs> There's a lot of monkeys in certain parts of India as well, right? Uh, especially down south, there's monkeys that live in the city in India. We got to see some of them when we were down there. We were in Bangalore, and my wife and I went uh, for lunch with, at our favorite diner, uh, which is basically what we did when we went to India. We found the one restaurant that has all of our favorite Indian food, and then we went there every fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> Even the restaurant owner was like, hey, you know there's like other places. <laughs> To. And we were like, hey, uh, shut the fuck up, bro. Don't tell us how to vacation, okay? We are American. We have provably never made wrong decisions in our lives. So we grab our lunch, we're sitting down, and across the street from this restaurant, there's a little park. Right? And we see these monkeys, and they jump down, they're scouting out the location, making sure it's okay for the rest of the troop to move forward. And in this park, there's a little boy, like a three-year-old boy, right? And he sees these monkeys, and then he points at them, and he picks up some leaves, and he throws it at the monkeys. I have never seen a wild animal get that pissed off at a tiny human before. <laughs> but it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> The monkey was like, are you fucking kidding me with this shit? <laughs> I mean, that thing knows, right? It knows I'm more physically dominant than it. Yeah. Right? I will rip its face off right now. I will do it. Okay? This is bullshit, Sanjay. Okay? Every couple of weeks, we got to move the troops because of these assholes. Every couple of weeks, we got to do it. Okay? These things are in charge of the planet. Really? That thing is in charge of the planet? That thing just shit itself! <laughs> I think one of the biggest differences between India and America is that the sun uh, lives there. So, just kind of lives there, works there, vacations there. We try to get it to leave. You know, we're like, hey, maybe you should go to like America or the UK. They need it. <laughs> they keep trying to look like us. Going into these tanning boots, coming out looking colors that we've never seen on any spectrum before. <laughs> it's very concerning. I'm just worried about them. So maybe like if you like went over there for like just a little bit, you know, you maybe you could like help them out a little bit. And the son's like, no, I like it here. It's warm. <laughs>
India is a developing nation. You've heard that before. India is a developing nation, that term. You guys have heard that term before? Yeah. yeah. I think India is the definition of a developing nation, right? India has constantly been under development. They're always doing construction in India. There's always new things being built there, right? When I was a kid, we didn't have highways and flyovers. That came about maybe five or ten years ago, right? We put a bunch of cars on the road. A billion people started driving within cities and in between cities. It became an environmental disaster. So now what they're doing is building above ground and underground metros to make sure that those cars are off the fucking roads. <laughs> More room for the cows. <laughs> <laughs> but we need that in India, right? We need that development. We need to constantly be in construction. We need to constantly keep innovating because India has to get rid of everything British. So... <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of it, so we're gonna be there for a little while. It's an awesome country. It's a very noisy country, India. It's a very noisy country, right? There's a lot of noise from animals and construction, people, traffic, all that sort of stuff. America's kind of quiet, isn't it? It's a very quiet country. Noise is something you can complain about in America. <laughs> They replace the music a little too loud. We call the cops. <laughs> and they're like, we're on our way. We're gassing up the F-22 right now. <laughs> when you hear that sonic boom, that's us. <laughs> well, I think we made a mistake. <laughs> In India, we get concerned when there isn't any noise. You know, when it gets a little bit too quiet, we're like, holy shit, what's happening? <laughs> Somebody call the cops because those sirens, that'll probably help. <laughs> <laughs> Every single kind of human bodily fluid, you can smell it. <laughs> Which I know sounds gross, right? I know. It's not, I heard that, oh, it, you know, the sheer sound of disgust. You know? but to me, it's not disgusting. To me, it's signs of life. Right? These are people doing exactly what they want to with their lives, exactly what they need to. These are people running around the cities going, you know what, I don't have time to use this very conveniently placed public toilet. I'm going to piss on this wall. I got a monkey to chase. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> a lot of people got concerned for us, though. A lot of people got worried about us. And a lot of concern, some people said some very odd things to us, right? And I'm loving concern, one of our friends came up to us and said, uh, hey, be careful when you're in India, because India is going to be an assault on your senses. That's what he said to us. Mm. It's going to be an assault on your senses. I couldn't disagree with that statement more. I don't think India is an assault on your senses. I think India is a five-cent symphony of human evolution. <laughs> it's going to make you use all of your senses and then some. You, know? you guys heard about the concept of the third eye? You guys know that concept? Yeah, it's a very Indian concept, right? The concept of the third eye? Yeah, that's because you need to open all three of them to fucking survive. <laughs> <laughs> America's not big on thirds of anything, are we? Yeah, we don't like thirds of anything in this country, right? No third eyes, no third political parties, <laughs> no third genders. <laughs> Definitely no third wheels. You get the fuck out of here, Skyler. Okay? <laughs> that one got personal. I'll admit it. It got a little personal. <laughs> I just feel like America's lost touch with some of its senses. You know, like logic? It's just... <laughs> in the tough spot. 